Hi, my name is Paul Smith. I'm the executive director of the Utah Apartment Association. And I'm here today to talk about the difference between discrete sampling and composite sampling when it comes to meth contamination in apartments. Now, let me just be clear. Landlords should never be renting contaminated properties. And so the state of Utah has set a standard to tell us at what level we must clean up our properties. Now, remember, it's not every level that we need to clean it up. Just like in our drinking water, we allow the EPA does a certain level of arsenic. I mean, there's a certain number of parts per billion that we can have arsenic in our water and it won't hurt us because even a poisonous substance like arsenic isn't poisonous at very trace amounts. Such as meth. Meth at very low levels is not dangerous to the public. And so you can have low levels of meth without endangering the public. And the health department should not be requiring landlords to go to big expense, average $10,000 to clean up a, an uncontaminated apartment. So. Let's talk about composite sampling and discrete sampling. Discrete sampling is the way that most scientists think that you should do sampling. It is the most accurate. It is the least uh, potential for abuse. But, but for some reason, and they tell us it's because they're trying to make it less expensive, uh, the Salt Lake Valley Health Department is allowing composite sampling. And let me explain to you what composite sampling is. If the health department were to say that in each cup I could have up to four marshmallows before the that was considered contaminated, but if I had five in a cup, uh, I would have to clean it up. And let's go ahead and put, we put one marshmallow in that cup, we'll put two marshmallows in that cup, we'll put one marshmallow in that cup and one marshmallow in that cup. And you can see that we are not exceeding the contamination levels uh, that would be dangerous to the public in any way, and so we shouldn't be required to clean up. But what composite sampling does is because it's uh, expensive to do four different tests, they say, well, let's save money and do one test. Let's pour all of these samples into one, and then let's test that. But let's assume that all the marshmallows came from one cup. So instead of multiplying by four the standard and allowing 16 marshmallows, we're still only going to allow now four marshmallows. And so if you look in here, you say, whoa, five marshmallows. Okay, property owner, spend $10,000 replacing the carpet, replacing the furnace, and cleaning up the apartment. You can see why meth contamination specialists who make money doing this want this method. You can see why renters who want out of their lease or they want to be off the hook for damages they've done want this method. You can see why a property uh, buyer or a realtor representing a buyer would want it to fail because then they get $10,000 of upgrades, a new furnace, new carpets, and new paint, uh, but it's not fair. It's not reasonable. It's a shortcut, and we ask the Salt Lake Valley Health Department to fix it because it's ripe for abuse and it shouldn't be allowed. Thank you very much.